name is Nicholas Glannon. Uh, the work in this exhibition is Suhi Hugak Tutan, which translates, we will again open this container of wisdom that's been left in our care. The work is a two-channel uh, video, audio uh, performance installation. Um, the basic philosophy of that we will again open this container of wisdom that's been left in our care is a uh, reference in my um, opinion to, or my experience even. Uh, the container of wisdom is our culture, our language, our dance, our sovereign creative voices and the artwork that we create. One dancer is dancing in a traditional customary style to an electronic beat and that's happening in our community house. Um, these are these are houses where we have our cultural gatherings, and uh, in that house we did a. Uh, there's a house screen in the back, and the house screen is more of a classic, a customary style, uh, wood carving from our culture. The other video is of David Elsewhere. He's a um, dancer. He's performing in a, a very in, in his contemporary style of dance, which to the viewer you'd think that I've just swapped audio tracks, but I have, and those are your um, those are bringing out people's general assumptions that are oftentimes applied to culture based on stereotype or romantic ideas. Uh, the video is more of a response in a creative, sovereign uh, output where we are in charge of how we represent our ideas and our experiences, and we're not necessarily hindered by uh, these other mechanisms that have um, injected themselves into our culture and our histories. And I, I believe that our, the work that's created changes through its experience with the community that it, um, is in dialogue with it. So, so this just case. Uh, Installation by installation, whatever venue any works put in, change with um, whoever's. Uh, a lot of this, a lot of this work is holding up a, a revealing, reflective um, mirror to the to the uh, viewer, and it's not so much about what I'm telling them it's, or saying these are things. It's it's more about their understanding the experience of it and how hopefully it allows them to learn about their own perspectives and get a deeper understanding of um, our culture's continual experience and perspectives. So, I mean, it's, there's a continuum in, in all of the work that I've been creating, I would say, and I'm, uh, a lot of that started from my early creative um, and endeavors as an apprentice where learning about my cultural art, traditional or customary forms through wood carving, jewelry, and the, uh, those aspects, that's allowed me to gain access to history that was not always passed on through us due to um, just the side of our communities where um, language was removed, our land was removed from us, our practices, our, our social, our potlatches were illegal, um, our at who our cultural objects were uh, removed and put into institutions all over the world, our children were removed from their families, um, all of these things, just starting with that visual work that allowed me to reconnect to a lot of of this other side of history in doing so I learned that um, there's still a lot of uh, say multi-generational uh, uh, things that are happening now in our communities that are related to these, these other um, let's say atrocities that happen in, in, on our land here so um, Opening that container of wisdom that's been left in our care is a way of really taking it into our own, uh, I'd say philosophically anyways, and creatively taking things and realizing and re reclaiming our own ability to um, steer the um, direction of how our culture
culture moves through society today that's unhindered by the um, oftentimes uh, romanticized ideals of who we should be, which I would say is like a lot to do with pre pre European contact and how that's that idea of indigenous culture is in some form or fashion authentic and whereas our communities and generations today would not be and that's not the case we're 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 living moving flowing growing changing communities. <laughs>